I wanted to make something chaotic, but organized. There's a lot of intertangledness in this patch, but it's largely starting from the Benjolin and from there moving out to a copy of that signal going to the Excalibur filter and the two of these playing together in the matrix mixer before heading to a short timbral delay on the loop and heading out of the system. The thing that makes this patch more chaotic and uh, self-organized is that a related signal from the matrix mixer is running into an envelope follower here. And the envelope and gate outputs from that envelope follower are triggering some envelopes, moving things around in order to bring in the Tabor when a threshold is exceeded, you can see the Tabor light up here. And it will die here in a moment as this envelope fades. And so the action that's happening up here is driving the incorporation of the Tabor into the other sounds. And uh, I can control the weights of each of these two sound sources, the Benjolin and the Excalibur, how much those affect the envelope here that's being followed, as well as adjust the envelope threshold for when that gets triggered. These sorts of interconnections are interesting and unpredictable uh, and uh, create feedback in the system that can liven things up in an unpredictable way. When I started this patch, I was expecting something that would be more totally self-organizing and generative and that I could let unfold and do its thing. But I quickly found that for my style of how I like to approach sound and create more dramatic tension in a piece, it's something that I want to be performing much more actively. Some notable patch points that I want to pick out from the chaos here. Oscillator 1 on the Benjolin is being modulated by the high-pass filter output. I really like the way that this changes the character of the sound, and I find that this is a patch connection that I make a lot when I'm working with the Benjolin. The Rungler is going into the external in of the Benjolin so that when I'm at audio rates, I can get that Rungler sound uh, and use the Rungler as an audio source. I'm using this flip-flop logic on the MLB here. It's able to cycle between two states based on uh, the two inputs here. And that's letting me create two uh, different points of modulation. Finally, I just have one of the envelopes here on the triple steeple self-patched to another envelope so that the timing of this first one can be varied by this second long envelope, which is coming in at a lag compared to the other one. And the way that these start over and over, what this means is that 
the frequency with which the first envelope is triggered will affect the CV sort of position or amount of this third envelope, such that the time varies based on how frequently this envelope is repeated. This is definitely a bit of a weird one, but I think marks a nice transition from starting with an idea in a patch about an idea to uh, becoming a patch about sound and performability. While it's harder to articulate the particularly interesting things about this patch at a conceptual level, I think that I really enjoy the sounds that are coming out from it, and uh, I would play with this patch for a while. 